Hello everybody, well we are going to start another class of English at home. I hope that you had a great time uh, during these holidays. Espero que se la hayan pasado fabuloso en estos este, holidays. Bueno, no es extraño, I hope that you do, espero <laughs> que también. But well, we are going to uh, continue. Uh, well, so we are going to work uh, on pages 116 and 117, so the news items. Yes, this is important that, uh, that we work so hard. Okay, well, by classroom, I already sent you uh, some of these activities. So this is very important that you, uh, if you want to print it, you have the possibility to print them. It is okay. If not, only write the answers in your notebooks. This is something that you can do. Recuerden, si no la puedes imprimir, no te angusties. Solamente lo único que tienes que hacer es escribir las, este, las, eh, respuestas en tu libreta como siempre and the signatures in your notebooks and agendas eh, recuerda me tienes que enviar la eh, foto de picture de ambos ok del que está en la libreta y este, en la agenda si es que tienes los dos si no te llevas la agenda bueno solamente una no problem pero si sí, the obligatory is to send me the picture of the answers ya sea in the book or este, en las eh, hojas que te mandé para imprimir or in the notebook ok, excellent so we are going to start we have uh, what recent news has caught your eye ok, so que recientes noticias han atrapado tu, tu este, pues como tu atención uh -huh. well, do we have the listening here they said listen and um, and match the news with the photos. Esto es algo que, eh, bueno, lo van a hacer ya este, de preferencia, pues por eso les mandé la, este, el, este, impreso, o para que ustedes si se dan cuenta se los mandé en Word, y lo pueden hacer más grandes, you can do it bigger, smaller, para que lo vean más cerca o más lejos, ok? Well, this, then, they say here, eh, we have the items, arts, business, local, science, sports, and stuff, and then decide the section at each is from. Well, so we're going to listen from primero y después the second part. Audio 11.1. One. The actress was spotted earlier this week with a very attractive man who some say could be her new boyfriend. Sources say that it's not the... Two. The company's CEO has announced plans to develop a solar-powered family car, and it will cost less than you think. Gina Weiss has more. 3. Latest in on sports news, we've just had word that soccer manager Jose Mourinho has left Chelsea Football Club. Stay tuned for the next move in Mourinho's remarkable career. 4. OK, and here in the UK, at number one after his remarkable success at Glastonbury Festival, Lionel Richie's definitive collection has put the singer back at the top of the charts after 23 years. Now that's what we call a comeback. Five. Figures show that unemployment has dropped for the third consecutive month this year. At 6.4%, it's the lowest it's been since the government introduced... 6. Problems in the area where two lanes are blocked due to construction. So avoid Connecticut Avenue if you're heading downtown. Stay tuned for more details on... Excellent. Now you can return the audio in the video as many times you need it to check the answers. Now please uh, do it and you are going to put the next part, okay? Arts, en, eh, vaya como si fuera un periódico, 
in which sections in the newspaper, which section you are going to put this. Excellent. Now I hope that you do it. And uh, we are going to check this talking about the news. News is singular and uncountable. Aunque tenga una S, okay, no es, no, is not a plural, it's singular. I read, oh, I, I'm sorry, I read, I read some news that was shocking. No, I read, yes, because it's passing. I read some news that was shocking. I'm interested in business news. Uh, I'm interested in business, uh, in business news or in business, uh, in, so you are in arts. Mm -hmm. I enjoy reading the science sections or I'm interested in business or I'm interested in the arts. Como lo tenemos abajo, okay? Uh, please, this is um, uh, only vocabulary, so this is not difficult. However, I'm going to put you the correct answers. Espero que ya las hayan respondido. Si no, click stop the video, por favor. Regresen las veces que necesiten. Stop the video. Okay, did you stop this video? <laughs> okay, I hope you did it. I give you the answers, okay? Um, I don't know that you need to, to put it bigger, but however, I, I, I do it, okay? So these are the answers. Click stop so you can check the correct answers, okay? Very good. Now, we are going to the next section. It says here a reporter from A is doing a survey. Listen and note down Jack's answers. One, two, three words. Okay, so listen and note down answers in one, three words. Vamos a ver. Okay. I need to put the audio. Audio 11.2 Hello, I'm Gina Weiss, and today we're looking at public opinion. Can I ask you a few questions? Will it take long? I'm kind of in a hurry. Five minutes at most, I promise. Okay, take a look at this list, please. What would you say your favorite news topic is? Can I pick several topics or only one? Just one topic. Okay. Hmm. Local news. What does that include? Traffic, weather, and stuff like that. Okay. Politics, business, and the economy? <laughs> no way. I already spend the whole day on my job talking about companies going bankrupt. Science and technology? Hmm. Well, I'm really into music, movies, and theater. That goes under the arts, right? Uh-huh. The arts, then? Yes. Okay. How often do you follow the latest news on the arts? Well, I try to keep up with what's going on. You know, learn about the latest releases, read the latest reviews. Some of my friends are really into movies and music, so I, uh, I don't want to seem stupid and make a fool of myself when we're hanging out. You know, run out of things to talk about. So... I'd have to say, hmm, at least once a day. I'm into sports too, but I don't follow the news. Well, <laughs> not unless my team is playing. Do you prefer to get the news in print or on a computer or mobile device? Hmm, whatever's available. My phone, tablet, or even my laptop. I don't have a TV at home, so... You don't? No, but... Whenever I'm at my parents, or maybe at a restaurant, and, you know, if there's breaking news on TV, I might stop to watch. You know, those stories that make the room go really quiet. But, eh, that's about it. I see. What's your favorite news source? Do you have one? We're still talking about music, movies, etc., correct? Yes. Hmm. Well... Lately, I've been reading Rolling Stone more and more, especially because of their movie reviews, which are fantastic. Rollingstone.com? Uh-huh. It's been around forever, but I only stumbled upon it a while ago. It's great to have such an accurate source of information on the arts. 
I wish they'd post more behind-the-scenes stuff, though. Things like unofficial photos, gossip. Okay, do you trust the information you get from Rolling Stone? Definitely. They're not biased in favor or against any particular artist, which is a good thing. Every artist and every music genre gets a fair treatment. I see. Do you ever get news alerts sent to you? Uh, I used to subscribe to lots of sites, and I'd sign up for nearly every news alert I could click on. But it was... it was kind of overwhelming, you know? And I usually ended up with hundreds of links I never had time to access. Uh-huh. So I'm done with news alerts, thank goodness. I, uh... these days I just check my news feed for interesting stuff. Are you talking about Twitter or Facebook? Both. I tend to skip most stories, you know? Not all of them are worth my time. But if a headline catches my eye, I click on the link. But only if it makes me go, hmm, that's interesting. Right. Otherwise, I keep scrolling down. Thank you very much. Now, let's see what this young woman thinks. you can return the audio as many times you need so please do it and esta va a ser la última respuesta that I'm going to give you the rest I'm going to give the answers tomorrow okay okay here you are the answers mm -hmm. excellent Remember, you can click stop so you can write down the correct. As I, re I repeat you, I'm going to give you just these answers. The rest uh, I'm going to give you tomorrow, but you need to submit today during the time, the specific time to day, please. Okay, memory test. Try to complete so first by yourselves, and then I'm going to give you uh, two answer. Mm -hmm. Anything in common with Jack? Please try to complete it. Mm -hmm. You, I don't going to give you. Please do it. Now we are going to the next page and we have uh, the vocabulary. Neither I'm going to give you these answers, only the, I'm going to put the audio until tomorrow. Circle the choice that is closest in the meaning to the highlighted words. Uh -huh. Listen to check. Listen to check. So, for example, keep up with, stay informed, or tell people. Please do your best and answer. Then you say complete one to five items from A. So, from here, then in, well, aquí no podemos hacer in pairs, but change the underlined words to make them true for you. Van a tratar de hacer estas, the underlined, true for you. So change it, okay? The even news is usually, but not always, sometimes they don't seem to, que será, en lugar de que vean esto, que ven ustedes. Mm -hmm. So please, this is only that you are going to do. And that's all. Well, I'm going to put you the audio uh, I think that tomorrow, <laughs> so you can check it or not. I'm going to put you, so please click a stop and uh, so in order that you can have the answers before the audio. Please do your best, yes, do your best. Click a stop. Did you put a stop? Now I can give you the, I'll put you the audio. Excellent. Here you are. Audio 11.3 Hi, this is Helene again, your cyber teacher. Today, we practice a very useful strategy for learning new words and expressions. You don't always have to look them up. Sometimes, by listening closely to what comes next, you can figure out the meaning from the context. Let's take a look at how. 1. I try to keep up with what's going on. Jack then adds, you know, learn about the latest releases. 
read the latest reviews. The meaning of keep up with is clearly stay informed. The answer is A. Two. When talking about Rollingstone.com, Jack comments, "It's great to have such an accurate source of information." Clearly, accurate has a positive meaning. The answer is A. Three. I wish they'd post more behind-the-scenes stuff. Jack's next comment is things like unofficial photos, gossip. Since "un" is a prefix meaning "not," we know the answer is B. Four. They're not biased in favor or against any particular artist, and then Jack adds, which is a good thing. Every artist and every music genre gets a fair treatment. Remember how we learned that non-restricted clauses with which can be used to comment on an idea and give the speaker's opinion. Jack then adds that the treatment is fair. The answer is A. Five. I tend to skip most stories, and Jack's very next comment is, "Not all of them are worth my time." Therefore, logically, the answer is B. Six. If a headline catches my eye, I click on the link. Remember, we asked you at the beginning of the lesson to tell us what recent news has caught your eye. What do you think this expression meant? If you weren't sure, then it's obvious when Jack adds, but only if it makes me go, "Hmm, that's interesting." Clearly, the answer is A. I hope you found this useful. Listen carefully, and you may be able to leave your dictionary at home. Excellent. Well,、uh, please. Any questions、uh, by classroom? Uh, I hope that you're fine, and don't forget to be to be、uh, very happy every day. Bye. Have a nice day.